float salmon tie float cutting ABS pipe. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward procedure. TVC is the same. Uh, a few different tools that I've used over the years. I started out in my very first project. It was with my father. By the way, this is his workhorse, and he gave me a set of workhorses. Well, he actually built them for his own house in '73. I kind of inherited them, and I'm glad I did. They've come in handy many times. So in '79, I was uh, on a job with him, and he went into town to get a few fittings and told me to just cut a bunch of uh, short pieces of pipe. So I was using a handsaw at the time. I thought I knew everything and I really knew nothing. And there's my finger. I'm just going to give an example of what I did. Um, I took the saw and ran it right down and it came right across my knuckle. Split it open. Anyway, ended up going to the hospital and I got a number of stitches and that, but the I was more ticked off the nurse actually. I think she had a fight with her husband that day or whatever and took it out of my knuckle. But uh, anyway, one thing to remember when it comes to, the biggest thing to remember when it comes to hand saws, in particular, it doesn't matter if you're cutting wood or if you're cutting pipe, draw back, I draw back three times. One thing about the hand saw is it's nice and wide and you get a nice straight cut with it. And I also have a, it's a Lennox 12 inch uh, PVC or ABS saw. And they come with an interchangeable blade if it gets dull. Sometimes it does, you end up cutting off a piece of pipe in the ground for example and you end up having a dull blade and you can change this out with this, uh, with this saw works very well gives you an excellent cut I saved my finger um, something to keep in mind if you're using a hacksaw the blade in it has to be very tight or else your your uh, cut is going to sway off on you and it's not going to be straight and it takes a little bit of practice to actually make a straight cut with the hand saw these are reciprocating saw um, one thing that I always do is I use an 18 teeth and a blade that has 18 teeth per inch and that's and it doesn't make a difference if it's a hack saw or if it's my reciprocating saw when it comes to cutting ABS because if you get a a blade that actually has 32 teeth per inch with the reciprocating saw blade um, it will actually melt it because the strokes on the blade are so fast on the reciprocating saw are so fast and the teeth are so fine but this works very well I'll soon be buying another reciprocating saw so one thing to keep in mind if you're cutting over the hacksaw or a reciprocating saw, I always go with 18 teeth per inch. Um, big reminder, and it really should be something that's uh, that's told to everyone. If you're using a handsaw, cutting pipe, come back, draw back you know, two or three strokes before you actually come down with the saw, and uh, that will save you from having a nasty knuckle. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.